Hello, welcome to Designing with Hall Effect Sensors. In this video, we will be discussing how to use Hall Effect Sensors in rotational sensing for electronic smart locks. Hall Effect Sensors are often used for the rotational sensing in an electronic smart lock to determine if the deadbolt is locked, unlocked, or somewhere in between. Smart locks designed for a consumer's house are generally battery powered and have an emphasis on low power devices for monitoring the position of the deadbolt. The position sensing also needs to be reliable and take a minimal amount of space due to the limited amount of space available in the design. Two ways to use Hall Effect sensors for position sensing in electronic smart locks are through switches and 3D linear sensors. On this slide, the Hall Effect switch implementation is shown with a magnet moving in an arc with three sensors positioned above it. As the magnet moves, the magnetic field at each sensor location can be seen on the right along with the digital output corresponding to each switch. In this example, the magnet moves 90 degrees and the switches can be used to determine if the lock is completely open, completely closed, or in between the two states. In the linear hall sensor case, the sensor is usually placed above the magnet and the rotational orientation of the magnet is determined from the magnetic field. This can be implemented by offsetting the magnet from the center shaft of the lock using a gear. The gear ratio can also be used to increase the rotation of the magnet compared to the center shaft and allow for more angles of rotation to be sensed by the hall sensor. This can provide a finer resolution of the position of the deadbolt. The two main devices used in this example are the DRV5032 and the TMAG 5273. The DRV5032 is a low power switch that comes in different options depending on the application need. Different magnetic thresholds can support different magnet strengths or placements. An alternative device to the DRV5032 is the TMAG5231. This device is also a low power Hall effect switch, but has a few distinctions such as different sampling rates and magnetic thresholds. The TMAG5273 is a system on a chip which is capable of measuring all three magnetic field vector components and providing the outputs over I squared C. This device has an integrated cortic algorithm to calculate the angle of the sensed magnetic field and reduce the MCU processing need for calculating the angle. With selectable sensitivity ranges, programmable temperature compensation, and other built-in functions such as amplitude and offset correction, this device provides a simple platform which may be customized to calculate angle across a wide variety of mechanical arrangements. Additionally, this device has a low current consumption, which when applied with awake and sleep sampling will reduce the power demands on the system. Here is an example of using each device to determine the rotational position in a smart lock. A magnet sweeps in an arc around the center shaft and the DRV5032 is positioned in three different places along the magnet's path. The middle position correlates to when the door would be completely unlocked, while the other two are the completely locked positions for a left-handed and a right-handed door. As the magnet moves over each position, the state of the diodes on the boards change. Additional switches can be added to detect additional points along the path, such as when the deadbolt would be almost completely closed or open. The TMAG 5273 implementation uses only one sensor and magnet. To showcase the rotation here, the magnet is offset from the center shaft with a gear and rotates directly above the hall sensor. The ratio for the gears can be used to increase the magnet rotation and get extra sensitivity to the deadbolt position. As you can see here, the gear ratio in this example causes the magnet to rotate about 2.5 times more than the lock center shaft. The rotational data from the hall sensor can either be viewed by looking at the angle measurement from the device or by looking directly at the change in the magnetic fields as the magnet rotates. This concludes our demonstration. To learn more about Hall Effect sensors and find more resources and tools, please visit ti.com forward slash Hall Effect.